Hi friends, uh, I am Jitendra Bafna. Today we will going to see a splitter and the collection aggregation with mule ESB. So basically, splitter is you know dividing the message into the collection of uh, records depending on the X path or mule expression you have given. And collection aggregation means like whatever message you are splitting, you can aggregate them back into a single message. Let me open one small. I will going to show you. So see, this is see whenever you know like a message comes to the splitter component, it divides the message and it will also you know like give a two three properties to the each and every divided message like mule correlation sequence, mule correlation size, and mule correlation ID. So if you see like if you have one single message, it divided into three parts. So it will have a same mule sequence ID, size, and all those ID. So what is the advantage of that? So when you are aggregating message, so if you see sequence, size, and ID of all the uh, splitted records are similar, then you can you know you can aggregate into the single payload. So we will going to see a small demo on that. So what I will do, I will create a new application file, new mule project. I will say split call app. For runtime, I will keep 3.8 only. In your case, there can be multiple runtime. You can select depending on your choice. I will not going to select any Maven or any other settings. I will simply click on finish. Okay. Now I will drag and drop an HTTP listener component into the canvas. Under connector configuration, I will click on this add button. I will keep all settings as a default setting. I will press on OK. I will give a path as a split. I will say allow method equals to post. Fine. Now I can drag and drop on logger just if you want to check anything. Now I can do splitter. Use splitter. So basically we have various message chunk splitter also. And we have a splitter. Splitter basically divide the message or split the message depending on the mule expression or expat you have given. We have message chunk splitter divide the message on the you know, size of the message you define. Suppose you are saying uh, message size should be 512 bytes. So it will going to divide each and every message into, into a size of 512 bytes. So a splitter. So a splitter, first thing you have to give a X path. So our message is this under employees we are employed. So we have one, we have to split the message as like employee, employee, this employee, like that. So I have an ordinary expression. I will give this expression, this X path into the expression region okay i will say save now i want to create an output folder and the test source test resource i will right click i will say new i will say folder sorry i have clicked something wrong i will say right click new folder i will say out and finally i will click on the finish so it will create output folder for you now I will, what I will do, I will save the split record into the file location. I will say file, I will take into file connector here. Okay, I will give a path, source, test, resources, and I will say out. Now I will start the application, yes. The application has been started. Let me go there. I will change this path. I will say split. Okay. Let's wait. Our application is getting deployed. Now it's the set. Let's wait. Okay, we got a 200 response. So we have a, like uh, how many? We have three records. And we have one record, it should get split into three records. I will go to output folder, I will refresh it. There is an error, I don't know what is happening. Okay, so it has divided into multiple records. Let me open. Okay, uh, okay. something is wrong. Let me check.
let's let me check okay 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 so we have to convert uh, that input dom to xml okay so i have to use that here fine so let me delete all these messages I delete i forget that sorry for that so after split we have to convert into xml again then save it to file location let me save it again so it was saying like it was byte array type convert i will say send let's try again 200 okay this time i'm not sure what happened see refresh see now you can see the twice record you can see second record it has split into five record okay so let me check how many records are there one two three four five okay so we have five records there so okay now i will delete this record from here okay now i will going to show you something more splitter see if you see here what we have given x part or something like so here now correlation id and auto will be automatically generated It's automatically generated so if you want to add some like uh, if you want to map the message on the basis of order id currently it was on the basis of correlation id it is auto generated if you want to change any id anything you can do it from here you select this you say next you can provide the class name if any otherwise you can go with message info next you can provide what is the id expression what is the correlation id expression you can provide that custom correlation id expression okay here i have used the default correlation id which was generated by the flow itself or component itself see let me show you as i mentioned like whenever it split the message generate three property for each message so it is helpful when we are aggregating the messages so now what we will do we will use the aggregation so let me call collection aggregation here Okay, now what will happen? I will send request from here. Okay, after that it will split the message, convert into XML, then again aggregate. So you will see the again message into a single payload. So let me save the application. Okay, let me send. Okay, so let me refresh. See, you can see that a single payload yeah that you can remove like uh, uh, remove this one instead of that i can use logger okay 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 see now you see like uh, message not proper see here it's a very proper let me refresh if you don't use dom to xml you will see like the message in this format so what you can do again you can drag and drop dom in xml after aggregator then save it to file then send okay it will not work so it basically you have to keep use the dom and X, dom to xml after splitter so now you come to know what is user splitter, what is user collection aggregator, and we have something called chunk splitter also. So splitter basically uh, divide the message or split the message on the basis of mule expression or x path you have given. So here we have given some x path. Okay, here is in chunk splitter the message is divided into on the basis of size. So let me show you also that also. So let me divide, remove all this thing. Let me drag and drop chunk splitter. Okay. So I here I will say 512 byte. Let me save it. Let me remove this two file. Okay. Let me let me send the message. Okay. Let me refresh it out.
see uh, here I have to convert into that x that's fine so if you check the size of the file it's 389 because that was the last if you want to check this say it's 512 bytes so it basically dividing the message into 512 bytes okay fine so that is the difference between splitter and message chunk splitter fine so same even uh, you using the message chunk aggregator it will whatever message you uh, you know divided into the various chunks so it can, message chunk aggregate can be used to again aggregate the message okay so hope you enjoyed watching the video and you know like what is message chunk splitter what is splitter all those things what is collection aggregation what is chunk message chunk aggregator okay thanks for watching video hope you have enjoyed